Alright, so I had played through the tutorial and I was recording, but for some reason it only decided to record 30 seconds, so I lost the whole tutorial. So I now kind of somewhat know how to play. And uh, yeah, let's just see how this goes. Let's go to the apocalypse. The full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna be the fat man. Yeah, fat man. Let's go. Water. Okay. Uh, I. Oh, shit. Holy shit, it's already counting down. Tina, come on. The radio, come on. Oh, no. Go. Mom. Come on. Oh, there's an axe back here. Okay, let's go. I can't. Where's. Oh, I, I need Timmy. Okay, he's playing. Timmy! Timmy, let's go! Oh no, I don't have any water! I don't have any water. Uh, water's in here. Come on, go, 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 go! Get out! Get out of my way. Get to the shelter, get to the shelter. What are those things on the ground? Is that medicine? Get out of my way! No! Crap! No! Ugh. Wait. I have to actually get in the bunker? Did- did I die? Oh no. Oh! I died! Oh, so I get to keep playing with these guys, though. Oh, we're fucked. We don't have any water. Oh, okay. Let's, let's go. What is this? You perished. So that is the actual end of the game. I literally lasted two minutes. Ah, <laughs> oh, well shit. So, so there's that. Can I grab stuff right now? No, I can't. So, okay, you're coming with me. That's all I can grab right now. Shit, go! Timmy! You're coming. Martha! Let's go. Ah! This is so... So... Nerve-wrecking. Oh, soup. Okay. Get to the shelter! Okay. That's all the time I've got. Go, go down. Go down. Go, get... Get in the shelter! Oh, I just have to be in the zone. I had so much time left over. Oh. I had so much extra time. I wasted it. Now, now we're going to perish because we don't have any water. I think we might be screwed. Well, day one. Oh, we do have a single water. That's great. Four cans of soup? Three. Okay, let's see what we've got to do. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. 
When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. Oh, that's why I have water. We can't really say we recall putting all of these supplies down here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. Ah, checkerboard. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Something some of us already do. Psychosis is setting in early. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. There wasn't enough time to grab everything. But we have something to get started with. Hope it's enough. Okay, so um, the first day, you guys have been eating before this whole hell happened on Earth. So I think you're all good. We keep dreaming about those little things we did. Back in the day, when there weren't as many bombs falling down. None of our heads anyway. Not on our heads anyway. You want kick, but if the games I've played in the past have told me anything, that that cake is a lie. Now they showed cake at the end of the game, but I still have a feeling that was fake. Day two. Oh, that's a nice touch. The Geiger counter going off. So, oh, bug spray. I did see a couple. Yeah. That might be useful later on. Day two. Leaving them in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Tina is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy is okay, as much as he can be in his current situation. Today has been fine for Dolores thus far. No new problems are tr no new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning. Well, we all seem to be in good spirits. Let's go another day without anything. They seem to be. Day two. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. We should start preparing an expedition. No, no, let's not prepare an expedition. It's not safe out there. It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. We checked all the closets, and no one's hiding there. Is there something alive down here besides us? Maybe a rodent of some kind. If, sh if so, we need to show it that we are the dominant species in this little paradise of ours. Or we let the rodents multiply so we have a fresh food all the time. Rat meat is better than no meat, I guess. Okay, so you guys are going to need water and canes today. We are running around looking for something to smash that furry rodent with. It just disappeared. So, did one of our food cans. The question is, how did that little devil fit it through one of those little holes? We should give Mary Jane something to drink, or Tina. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores won't last long without water. There we have it. Our water is all gone. So that means we've got to go out into the wasteland. So who am I going to send out there? Well, I, I've got to send myself. Yeah. Yeah, we should start preparing. Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We're not sure if they're rats, feral bunnies, or just mutated hamsters. All the options are pretty grim. We could use spare ammunition or something else to get rid of every one of these pests. Oh, it'd have been nice to have an axe. Yeah. Shoot the damn thing. Day four. Let's go on our... Oh, that... That doesn't sound good. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Mary Jane's feeling safe, okay. D despite the dire circumstances, Timmy's brave, everything seems to be okay, there isn't much going on with Ted, we're all good. Nothing new. Okay, time to ration supplies. So I'm guessing we should probably eat at this point. And I really need to go for water, so. Ted, you're kind of fucked. Go with the rifle. Okay, so here we go. 
do I actually get to look around, or is he just kind of going off on his own? Day five. Nope, he's going off on his own. Well, let's see. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is doing. She looks fine. Okay, everything that Ted left at the surface will hope he'll be back soon with the rifle. Nobody's hungry, nobody's thirsty. I think we're all doing good so far. How about that trip to Nevada we've been post we've been postponing for a while now? Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop after we get out of here. Well, that's that's wishful thinking. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Sorry, guys. Day six. Ted's still not back yet. Oh, there's a drawing of a lumberjack. That that, that does bring up a good point. Is it? air conditioned down here or heated? I'm not quite sure what time of year it is. Maybe the lumberjack's gonna cut us down some firewood. A relocation is probably something we'll have to discuss after we get out of here. Ah, uh, Mary Janie's drink. Water, water, holy shit. Um, we have no water for you guys. And it looks like they just kind of scribbled out Ted as if, yeah, they have no hope for him coming back. Please come back tomorrow. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here. But now is, it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside these thin sheltered doors. Oh, don't have whatever I need to sleep. And since we were sleeping on our soup cans, there's only one left that doesn't make much for a bed. Oh wow, they look like they're in rough shape. And play some checkers, kids. That might bring up morale. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink. We need to give him water. Water. Damn it, Ted, come back! Come back, please! We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still have it. But we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. This, the good news is, we've probably scared off any rats in the area. <laughs> the bad news is, they're huge and probably attack us when they get the chance. Well, you can beat them with the radio. Oh! I could have used the... Oh, that was a bad call. D8 and still no Ted. There's... Oh, there's the cockroach. Use, use the bug spray. Day 8. Oh my. That thing is huge. And there's another one. Rush is everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Mary Jane. Or Tina keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Dolores will not survive without any water for any longer. Let's, let's eat. Hopefully the soup will... I, I don't know, it can supplement for water, maybe, right? You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, damn you! Damn you all to hell! That's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those were good times. Even if they wasted a perfectly good barbecue. Or, they looked dead in their front yard. Oh, no. Oh. I feel like I'm killing this family. I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't use the bug spray. Oh, no. <gasps> oh! Oh, my God! They're all dead! <laughs> I'm stuck playing Stolitaire. What, what happened to Timmy and Tina? My wife is there, but no Timmy and Tina. Oh, day nine. If we only had a few more drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the sheltered door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water. She got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this. And that she's getting her water one way or another. We are seriously terrified right now. Fond memories are one thing, but 
We need to be ready for a harsh reality that awaits us. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. During our expedition, we stumbled upon the ruins of a familiar building, our local bank. Although a place like that might not be the ideal source of useful supplies, we decided to go anyway. You never know what you might find. Except for bags of cash, obviously. It looks like the bank was robbed just before the blast. The vault was cracked open with saws, hidden in teddy bears. Oh, oh, that's genius. Who does that? Anyway, we can see why they wanted to rob it so badly. The place was filled with tomato soup cans. How did it end up here? Maybe the mail had delivered it to the bank instead of a food bank? Well, we got four soup. That should last Ted a long time. I found a shopping bag on the floor next to the counters. It contained a couple of rotten bananas, a hand cream, a pair of bunny slippers, and some bottled water. Tempting as all these treasures may be, may have been, we limited ourselves to taking the water. So this is how the, they guarded the place. Unacceptable. In the guard room, we found skeletons of two individuals who seemed to have been playing cards when the bombs hit. Good thing we kept all our money in this really in a really safe place, but our special cookie jar in the kitchen. Okay. These guards didn't provide much security here, but their cards will contribute to high quality shelter entertainment. Yeah, good, because you're only playing solitaire now, Ted. You just had to be out there for, what was it, three, four days? So much for our rifle. We got damaged during the expedition. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted became infected with something. Ted has gone crazy. Ted is really tired. Ted is fucked. Oh, I don't have... You don't need water yet. I don't think. Ah, uh, no. You're just hungry and going fucking insane. Ring, ring. There we are. Thinking we could never hear a telephone signal again. When suddenly, a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. I, I don't have anyone to go answer it. Ted is in no state. Not at all. He's talking to a sock puppet, for God's sake. Ted, man. Ted, you look like shit. Use the bug spray. Get these mutant cockroaches out of here. I can't use the radio. Oh, well then. Day 10. It's just... Way too dangerous to randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a, a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for us all. Ted's stomach is still rumbling. Well, eat some more soup there, bud. Looks like the area is still irradiated. I can't. There's no way we can send Ted out in his current state. So, yeah, you're just staying in here. Oh, yes. I cannot forget to do that. Those cockroaches are freaky. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there is any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness, and their owners started growling in the most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Well, I... Oh! That's not using the bug spray for in here. But it's better than anything else I've got. Let's use the spray. Day 11. Looks like you're still on the same game of solitaire. You might want to finish that one up. Insect killing spray can wipe out any mutated mosquito, as well as creatures lurking, lurking in the shadows. It doesn't bother us again. Or didn't. Ah, he's still hungry. And he needs to drink. So, Ted, there you go. Wait, yeah, there you go. You have at her, Ted. You still can't go outside. You're pretty fucked. These cockroaches aren't playing around. They're very territorial, and they're leaving us less and less space every day. We need to do something about it. Let's spray their asses. 
There you go. Sounded just like Axe Body Spray. Just two little squirts. Day 12. We've won the battle, and maybe even the whole war. After the massacre was over, we tidied up. Well, there's no we anymore, there's just I. There's just Ted. We tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them next to our sheltered door. Let that be a warning to all other insects out there. Don't mess with me. There is no more us, like I said. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. He's finally starting to... <sighs> we can go a little bit. But, uh, you might as well eat. Get your strength back, Ted. He's still in no condition to go outside. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in the tiny shelter is far from the roses. Far from roses as it can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way. But maybe we can do with something else. No, we can't, because... Wait. Are they suggesting to wash myself with bullets? I don't even know how that could work. All right. I, I'm lasting a lot longer than I thought I would have. And he's still on that same damn game of solitaire. You look like hell, Ted. I think you would have at least, you know, done something with your wife's corpse. Day 13. Nothing new with Ted. That's always good. You, you might as well just keep eating. Gain your strength, right? Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get to go back outside again. He's going to go absolutely insane in here. We can keep sitting on our backsides here. In this tiny little bunker. Or we can start thinking about getting as far away or away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We, we could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Let's use that radio. Come on, please. Please. Day 14. Good news. The government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcers asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Ted is really thirsty. Yeah, it's, it's about time. There you go. You've, you've earned it, Ted. And uh, no. No, no more soup. He's in no condition. I'm never going to be able to go back outside. Peculiar. Seems that the whole shelter has been shaken every couple of minutes, and it feels like something... It feels like it's getting stronger every time this happens. Here it comes again. And it's way worse. It's, it, it, it's an earthquake. Hold on to something! Save that damn... Sa save the radio. I don't care what you do. Save the radio. Please. Okay, it's still in good condition. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us and our daily dose of radio static. We were able to grab it before it could fall down and get smashed. Something else might be broken. There's nothing else to be broken, let's not kid ourselves here. But we won't know until we've cleaned up the place. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. <laughs> there is no saving you, Ted. You can eat now. Can't go outside. We're all fucked. So, day 15. It's high time we stopped warning about what's going on and started asking questions. Or at least, listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning into the radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Well, I've got to listen to something else besides the voices in my head. Mr. Sacco there is not much of a conversationalist. Pretty boring, if you ask me. All right, let's let's see what we have here. Day 16. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. And Ted still will not be able to go outside. 
down to ration supplies. No water. You might as well eat. You're slowly wasting away, Ted. I'm sorry. You can't go outside. The more we know about what's going on outside, the better for us. Time to gather around the old radio and see if we can tune into a station. Well, seeing as we already had the government station, I don't think we'd want to switch away from that, since that's probably the only thing broadcasting. That's just my hunch. Can I... Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's... I'd be going insane too if I were Ted. Nothing. Nothing and nothing. We could hear nothing but annoying static. Better luck next time. There's your water. You only have one more day of water, Ted. I'm sorry, bud. It doesn't look like you're gonna make it. We fucked up, buddy. We fucked up. Oh dear. We just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. It is still there. We're going. We're right? I don't think so, bud. We're pretty sure they don't bomb war places. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> You're going absolutely insane. You're tired. Take a nap. Let's just leave all those questions be for now. This morning has been calm enough for Ted. And he's doing well. I, I would give him... You, you don't need water now, bud. You're going insane. Not much more. You maniacs. You blew it up! Damn you! Damn you all to hell! Something- we already said that to our barbecue neighbors. Why are we living in the past multiple times? That's not a good thing. There's no- uh oh. Why, why are you coughing? Cr sick, crazy, tired, that's the same as... Is that somebody outside? Oh, that doesn't look good. What we make of today will be our tomorrow. So let's make it right. Ted keeps coughing and coughing. The slow decline of... Ted Gimble. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past at the, after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, phone booth across the street. We can't answer it because nobody can go outside. Ted, I'm sorry. Can I, no, I can't click on top. Or Sako. Day 20. It's just way too dangerous to randomly run. Oh, yeah, I heard that one before too. Enjoy the last of your water, Ted. I'm sorry. The state of the wasteland remains unknown. Nobody can go outside. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all, all of them today, and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building. Oh my god, am I gonna eat them? Where? They're relatively safe. And we could really use whatever they have. We could really use it. Yeah, we could really use it. Are you gonna go out there, Ted? No. I, how did I get... Please tell me that's a soup handprint. Okay. Day 21. We had no idea they installed some kind of alarm system around the shelter door. As soon as we tried to open it, we were jumped and attacked by those little by with loose bricks not those little pricks that's what I read in my mind and map pointers there were way too many adults we were expecting just one teacher but it turns out they left children behind to make space for themselves we were appalled those terrible terrible teachers Ted has always had a heart of gold that's why we weren't really shocked to find him 
feeding our supplies to some disgusting fat cockroaches. Both Ted and the bug seemed really happy, so we we didn't manage to stay mad for too long. Although when Ted started sharing jokes and life stories with the cockroach, we became a bit suspicious. So, we've got more cockroaches around here, huh? The last time we went out on an expedition, which is the only one we've had, we noticed an abandoned tank just sitting there, out in the open. It looks damaged, but it may contain useful supplies. Shall we send someone to investigate? Of course we should, but we can't. Ted. Bud, how long are you gonna hold out? You've got no water. We decided against going for an inspection of the tank. For all we know, it might be a trap or simply a burnt out wreck. Not worth our time and effort. Ted, Bud, you're fucked. I'm sorry. Nobody's going outside today. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. We can't. We can't clean it. Things are looking grim. The end. Well, Ted. Dolores. Ah, uh, you two have fun down here. I'm gonna make my way back back to the surface and head on south. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Ted has been sick for far too long and he was too weak to keep going. He passed away in his sleep over his game of solitaire that was never changing. Of all places, we could have perished. This is probably the best one. Or may maybe not. We spent 23 days in our shelter. Oh. Well then. Well, I, I know I've made mistakes. My first actual time playing through the game and it, it, it honestly lasted quite a bit longer than I actually hoped. Or not, not really hope, but expected. So, uh, thank you all for watching. I'll defi definitely be playing more of this. So, uh, come back again and we'll have some more fun in 60 seconds. Thank you all for watching. <laughs>